I intend to bring uh, all the resources to bear on it, not just police. I think in the past people have spoke, focused on police strategies and didn't also think about all of the supportive strategies that you leave after the police do their work. You need to have houses that look good. You don't need blighted houses. Kids have to play in safe parks. They're all the things that uh, are the, on the positive side, not just for eliminating the negative. So I think we're, we're uh, kind of, um, by nature, I'm a builder. So we want to build a community and at the same time get rid of the blight. There have been a lot of, of, lot of community projects and organizations pushing forward. A lot of it stems from a lot of the challenges that are inside of West Center City stem from outside. So we need outside support, not only through the city, county, and the state, but even federal. We, we, we need true support to bring forth a lot of these changes. A lot of the, the drug activities were, are proximity to 95. People get right off 95, buy their drugs, get right back. We, we got to do something about that. We know we know this corridor is all for drug traffic. What, what can we do to do something about it? It's those type of issues. All of the schools that our children attend from here are, are struggling. They need support. I think that we know that um, certain neighborhoods really do need to overcome those other determinants of health, that, as we call them, social determinants of health. Things like jobs and transportation and, you know, really providing some positive uh, reinforcement for the long haul. So those are the things that we need to focus on. So how can we better work with our community partners who are already building these trusting relationships and working on health issues to use that as a way to build capacity, to allow uh, young people to see that they have future opportunities and create a real sense of you know, ownership over what's going on in the streets and in their, in their neighborhoods.